Teresa of Avila, OCD, also called Saint Teresa of Jesus, was a Carmelite nun and prominent Spanish mystic and religious reformer, whose life of prayer enriched the Church during the 16th century Counter-Reformation. The Catholic Church commemorates her feast day every October 15. Teresa Sanchez Cepeda de Villa y Almada was born in the Castilian city of Avila on March 28, 1515. She was the third child in a family descended from Jewish merchants who had converted to Christianity during the reign of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Her father Alphonsus was a successful wool merchant and one of the wealthiest men in Orvilla, an ardent Catholic with a collection of spiritual books. Teresa's mother, Beatrice, brought her up as a dedicated Christian and became fascinated by accounts of the lives of the saints, the thought of eternity, and the vision of God granted to the saints in heaven. Teresa was only 11 when her mother died. Her grief promptly found solace as she embraced a deeper devotion to the Virgin Mary as her spiritual mother. Teresa went to the Augustinian nuns school in Orvilla. In 1534, she decided to enter the local Carmelite convent of the Incarnation, built on top of land that had been used previously as a burial ground for Jews. There, she took up religious reading on contemplative prayer and dipped into other mystical ascetical works. She became ill, spent almost a year in bed, and nearly died but she recovered, attributing her recovery to the miraculous intercession of Saint Joseph. She then began to experience bouts of religious ecstasy. During her illness, she had progressed from the lowest stage of recollection, to the devotions of silence, and even to the devotions of ecstasy, which was one of perceived perfect union with God. She also frequently experienced the rich blessing of tears during this final stage. Teresa came to understand the awful horror of sin and the inherent nature of original sin. Around the same time, she received a copy of the full Spanish translation of Augustine of Hippo's autobiographical work, Confessions, which helped tend to her own bouts of religious scruples and found solace in the idea that such a great saint was once an inveterate sinner. On St. Peter's Day in 1559, Teresa became firmly convinced that Jesus Christ had shown himself to her that lasted for more than two years. During her, transverberation, it is said that a seraph thrusts a golden spear through her heart repeatedly, causing her extreme spiritual and bodily pain. In her autobiography, Teresa wrote, I saw in his hand a long spear of gold, and at the point, there seemed to be a little fire. He appeared to me to be thrusting it at times into my heart, and to pierce my very entrails. When he drew it out, he seemed to draw him out also and to leave me all on fire with a great love of God. The pain was so great, that it made me moan, and yet so surpassing was the sweetness of this excessive pain, that I could not wish to be rid of it. The memory served as inspiration that motivated her lifelong imitation of the life and suffering of Jesus. Teresa soon became wary that the convent, which was designed to protect him from the outside world in order to focus on strengthening their spiritual practice and prayer, became so lax due to daily visitors that disturbed the supposedly solemn atmosphere. During this time, she met a Franciscan priest, Peter of Alcantara, who became her spiritual advisor. In 1562, she founded the Convent of St. Joseph which follows the revival of the stricter monastic rules, supplemented by new regulations including the three disciplines of ceremonial flagellation prescribed for the divine office every week, and the discalciation of the religious. In March 1563, she received papal sanction for her primary principles of absolute poverty and renunciation of property ownership. She proceeded to formulate its constitution. In 1567, Teresa received instruction to establish houses of the new order, bringing her across nearly all the provinces of Spain. With the help of two Carmelite friars, John of the Cross and Antony of Jesus, they founded the first monastery of the Discalced Carmelite Brothers in November 1568 at Deruelo. Soon, monasteries were founded in Segovia in 1571, Bees de Segura in 1574, Seville in 1575, and Caravaca de la Cruz in 1576. However, in 1576, unreformed members of the Carmelite order began to persecute Teresa, her supporters, and her reforms. Soon, a number of resolutions were adopted at the general chapter at Piacenza, which forbade all further founding of reformed convents. The general chapter also instructed her to go into voluntary retirement at one of her institutions. 
she obeyed and chose St. Joseph's at Toledo, the first convent she founded. In 1579, after her appeals to King Philip II of Spain secured relief, the cases before the Inquisition against her and her supporters were dropped, and the reform resumed. An edict from Pope Gregory XIII gave way to the appointment of a special provincial for the newer branch of the Carmelite religion and a royal decree created a protective board of four assessors for the reform. Soon, Teresa founded more convents at Villanueva de la Jara in northern Andalusia in 1580, Palencia in 1580, Soria in 1581, Burgos, and Granada in 1582. Over the course of in total, 17 convents, all but one founded by her, and as many men's monasteries, were owed to her reforms over 20 years. Teresa's health failed her for the last time while she was traveling from Burgos to Alba de Tormes in 1582. Teresa died early morning of October 15, 1582. Her last words were, My Lord, it is time to move on. Well then, may your will be done. O oh my Lord and my spouse, the hour that I have longed for has come. It is time to meet one another. She was buried at the Convento de la Annunciation in Alba de Tormes. Nine months after her death the coffin was opened and her body was found to be intact but the clothing had rotted. Her body was exhumed again on November 25, 1585, to be moved to Orvilla and found to be incorrupt. Teresa was canonized on March 22, 1622, along with three of her greatest contemporaries, Saint Ignatius Loyola, Saint Francis Xavier, and Saint Philip Neri. The Cortes exalted her to the patroness of Spain in 1627. On September 27, 1970, Pope St. Paul VI proclaimed St. Teresa as one of the first two women doctors of the Church, along with 14th-century Dominican St. Catherine of Siena. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.